What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. And I'm sure most of you noticed, even though the first weekend of the beta is over, we did receive an update today on PS4, which is version 1.02. Now this was just a stability fix and bug fix kind of uh, update. Very small, seven or 800 megabytes. Um, of course, you know, if you played this past weekend, you don't have to re-download any files or anything like that. You can keep the, or any new file, you can keep... Uh, the beta file that you had from weekend one to go over into weekend two if you're on PS4. Now, I was expecting maybe some type of update, you know, a couple gigs, something like that, for some changes that they are talking about doing before weekend two. I'm not sure if they're going to get very many changes in here besides, you know, hot fixes on their end or maybe some other small changes like they did with today's update. But today's update, like I said, was a very small one. Uh, but stability uh, fixes, bug improvements, that kind of thing. I'm not sure how much they can fix with 700 uh, megabytes. I I'm not sure if that's going to really, you know, change too much. But I think a lot of people, including myself, are really hoping for a change uh, in, in connections. Even though the connections, like I said in my video yesterday, talking about the things that I liked and didn't like about the, you know, first weekend of the beta. Uh, connection was, was probably one of the biggest things you saw a lot of people talking about, including myself. Now, while I did say in that video, it did, you know, get better over the weekend for me personally, there's still a lot of people that were having the same issues that I had on day one of the beta, uh, you know, on the last day of the beta, they were still having really bad connections. And like I said, Treyarch, David Vanderhaar, um, they've all talked about it. Uh, it's been posted several times on different parts of their social media outlets talking about stability and how they're looking to improve that. They may improve it this weekend. We'll kind of have to wait and see. Of course, this weekend will be the cross-platform uh, beta, which is going to bring a lot more people uh, you know, than, than just PS4 players to the game. And we'll really, I, I think that's really going to test these servers and, and the strain on those servers. So we'll get to see how these servers kind of react to that many people playing. You know, There's a lot of people on PS4 playing, but when you add Xbox and PC, that's just that many more than are going to be on uh, playing the beta. So... I'm going to kind of be curious to see if we get any more updates besides this. You know, I thought this was interesting that we got one today, considering you know the the second part of the beta, the second weekend does not start until Thursday. I thought maybe we would get an update, you know, on that day. But right now, like I said, this is the kind of the only information we have about any changes that's coming to the beta until maybe Treyarch will put out some other stuff here in the next couple days. But like I said, today's changes were just stability fixes and bug fixes. So leave me a comment, guys. Let me know your thoughts. And of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you had not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you uh, hit the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, uh, the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.